How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. So last week we made Odin's Easy Gin and this week we're going to be mixing it up a little bit making something that uh, hopefully is still gin but only just. And we're doing that with black pepper, sage, smoked paprika, Earl Grey tea and lemon. Welcome to Stiller everyone, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation So if you're into craft beverages, if you like gin for example, you want to know how it's made, you want to make it yourself Or you are already doing so, this is probably the channel for you Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the notification bell and you won't miss anything Alright guys, so last week I did Odin's Easy Gin and I absolutely loved it I loved the process, I loved the concept and most of all I loved the taste But I really wanted to get uh, onto doing something a little bit more out there. Now, I had a little bit of a perfect storm recently in terms of the concept, and I had uh, one of my buddies telling me about how I should give uh, tea a go in gin, and another buddy sort of joking around with me about the Boston Tea Party. So, I decided, hey, let's make a gin based around the idea of the Boston Tea Party and the idea for me is basically uh, the, the Brits turning up uh, in America and things kind of going not quite so great as it could have uh, sort of a harmony disharmony sort of thing going on and I wanted to push this one way sort of on the savory side of things rather than on the sweet side of things uh, hence the paprika the sage and the black pepper all right so let's get to putting all of this together I'll let you know how much of each I'm putting in We'll macerate for 24 hours and then tomorrow I'll be distilling it on my mini Chinese pot still. Let's go. You need one liter of 43% ABV neutral spirit. I'm using bird watches that I distilled on my large still. 14 grams of juniper berries, 3 grams of coriander seeds, 2 zest strips from an orange and half the zest of a small lemon. 6 sage leaves, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and three grams of loose leaf Earl Grey tea. Next up we want to let this macerate for 24 hours before getting started on distilling. Now I'm using a little mini cheap Chinese pot still, I'll put a link for a similar one down in the description below. I've decided to distill on the botanicals, you do not have to do that, the alternative is to let the maceration go for two weeks, strain it, and then distill. I threw away the first 10 mils of the distillation before collecting the next 400 mils to keep. I ended up with 400 mils at 76%, which is about right. You're probably looking somewhere between 70 and 80% for this. I then proofed it down to 43% again and left it for another 24 hours to sit before tasting. So that's been uh, chilling for 48 hours now since I proofed it down. Time to give it a taste. So it's still very gin-like. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more savory, a little bit more of the sage coming through, to be perfectly honest. But it does have a savory quality to it. There's a little bit of sage and I'm getting a hint of the paprika smoke at the end, which is quite nice. It's different. Okay, so still very much a gin, citrus crispness, juniper, berry and pine going on, but it finishes with a Moorish, savoury, not umami flavour, and there's just a hint of the paprika smoke at the back end. So I want to compare this to Odin's Easy Gin, which is the base recipe for this, and if you haven't seen the video, I'll stick a card up top for uh, making this one. But before I do that, I gotta take two seconds out to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. I could not be doing this stuff without you, so thank you very much, guys. Yeah, so much crisper, cleaner. Doesn't have that grunge at the end from the paprika. Hmm, and just crisper and brighter, I guess. So, we have accomplished what we went out for, but I probably could have been a little bit more aggressive with all of the additives for this. So if you're doing it again, maybe try that and let me know how you go. Now, what is really interesting to me is that the Earl Grey did not come over with the uh, the herby, potpourri sort of flavours. What did come over is the citrusy fruitiness to it, and it almost shows up like almost like mango, actually, which is really interesting. 
You know what it reminds me of is in Thailand they would uh, they'd serve a lot of tropical fruit with salt and chili and it is kind of like that. It's reminiscent of that for me. So I'm going to call it a victory guys. It's delicious. It's nice, but it does need some tweaking and some massaging. So if you guys want to get in on that action and uh, give it a go, give it a tweak and tell me where you think the right sort of level of each of the botanicals is, that would be really cool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below on this video. That, that would be absolutely kick-ass. So like always guys, I've had an absolute blast making this video. If you've enjoyed it as well, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to help the channel out and you're not quite sure how to do it, the first thing you can do is share this video with other people that you think might like it. The second thing you can do is check the merch out, still at shirts and stuff, uh, in the link down below in the descriptions. And if you really, really find a whole lot of value in these videos, uh, check the Patreon page out as well. So thanks for hanging out guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.